A locked suitcase was lawfully seized from the open trunk of a parked automobile during the arrest of two of the automobile's occupants. The suitcase was then transported by police officers to the station. An hour later, police officers opened the suitcase without a search warrant and without the consent of the arrested individuals. However, they did have probable cause to believe that the case contained contraband. In fact, the suitcase held a large amount of marijuana. Can this be considered a valid search incident to arrest? According to United States v. Chadwick, the answer would be no. It is not a valid search incident to arrest. The facts of Chadwick were basically the same as those presented here, except the case dealt with federal agents searching a footlocker. In the court's words, here the search was conducted more than an hour after federal agents had gained exclusive control of the footlocker and long after respondents were securely in custody. The search, therefore, cannot be viewed as incidental to the arrest or as justified by any other exigency. Even though on this record the issuance of a warrant by a judicial officer was reasonably predictable, a line must be drawn. In our view, when no exigency is shown to support the need for an immediate search, the warrant clause places the line at the point where the property to be searched comes under the exclusive domain of police authority. Respondents were therefore entitled to the protection of the warrant clause with the evaluation of a neutral magistrate. 